Hi there, I am Amanda from amandasagetti.com. And today as part of my huge kitchen uh, remodel, completely DIY by me, um, I am going to be recoating my laminate countertops with Deitch Coatings Spread Stone Countertop Finishing Kit. So let's get started. So this is everything that comes in the finishing kit. You get a can of the base coat, two cans of the stone coating, and then one can of the clear coat. It also comes with very detailed instructions that tell you all the steps. Sandpaper for your project, a brush, a roller, and then roller covers, and of course, the paint tray that you need. Um, I have already cleaned my countertops and I started taping off the walls and putting paper down to protect my cabinets. Now I don't have any repairs, I don't have any holes or cracks or scrapes to fix. So the next step for me is to rough up the surface with this rough sanding paper. Okay, I just finished sanding all of my countertops which took me about 20 minutes, even with stopping to review the instructional video. And now I'm just wiping all of the sanding dust off so I can apply the primer coat. Opening the base coat or the primer coat. Oh, that's so pretty. We went with the natural white. This is, that's a little more of the true color. It's sort of a uh, off-white, natural, I don't know, something. So I'm gonna make sure I stir this up really well. This is thicker than most paints or primers. Almost like pudding. finished applying the first step of this Spreadstone countertop finishing kit. The primer coat is on. Um, the first coat I did, I went a little light and I felt like it didn't really give the best coverage. So for the second time, instead of just doing the edges and sort of spot fixes, I went ahead and gave it another complete coat. Um, and that seemed to cover up everything really well. Then, just to be safe, I went back a third time, just here on the front edges and where like it was black, right here on the, the very corner, um, gave that just one more light coat. And right now I'm waiting for it to fully dry so I can put on the stone coat. I use this to make sure that I mix everything up really well. Milky on top, stone on the bottom. So this is day two. Um, I finally got my second coat of the stone coat on last night. I let it dry. Um, and in the instructions, it says that you can wait up to 24 hours before you do the sanding. Um, or in the instructional video on YouTube, it says because this dries so hard, 
that you could wait just four hours and then go ahead and do the sanding. Well, four hours didn't work for me last night and I don't wanna wait the full 24 hours today. So I'm going to go ahead and do the sanding and clean up now so that tonight, once my 24 hours are up and this is fully dried and cured, then I can go ahead and put on my top coat. But for right now, we're going to do some sanding. All right, so after just a little bit of sanding, you can see these colors are starting to pop out. This coppery color is really going to look good with my um, dark walnut wood that I have. It's hard to see like a true color. That's pretty true right there. Very nice colors just popping through, giving this more of an actual stone look. This is getting a lot, a lot smoother already. It's starting to feel less rough. Huge difference from this over here and this. It looks bumpy, kind of orange peel texture, but it's actually not too rough when you touch it. Um, so I'm going to keep sanding and then we'll see what it looks like when it's done. I took off a little too much right here on this edge. So I'm just going to dab my finger in my uh, extra paint or stone coat and just sort of tap over it and let that dry. You can see the difference here. This has not been sanded. You can tell it's really rough. This has been sanded. And you can tell this is pretty dark, but here you've got the, the colors popping through. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the video, if I get my camera to focus correctly, there we go. But these, some of these have just a little bit of shine to them. Not too much, not like glitter, but just enough sparkle like you would see in real rock in nature. <laughs> 